Okay, stone coven fissure. We're ignoring you guys. I really do hope uh, going this far hasn't meant I've missed the NPCs, because that kind of... That would suck if that's the case. But I have to assume that Mesmer is like the next story progression thing. So this stone coven fissure would be not story related. Although it's probably key NPC related, yeah. So two of these. Not enough for two. They've got purple tails. The other ones had green tails, didn't they? Hmm. Yeah, I can't go in torrent. And these jumps are going to be a bit finicky, so I'll try and stay high up if I can. So, it doesn't lead anywhere. I suppose the fact that you can't be on torrent means that you can't really be expected to do platforming of a super significant nature. Right. Do you attack me? No? Oh, you do. Okay. You take more than one hit to kill them. Probably not giving a lot there. I forget whether charging up spells costs FP, extra FP. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. Brave Glove War 2. Alright. I'm going to assume the difference in the coloration is because... Some of the birds are related to death, which is why they've got, like, a bluey-greeny tinge, almost like ghost flame. And the- ooh, oh! Just a sentry. Okay. Alright, so... Alright, alright, I get it, I get it. Okay, so you take a bit of magic damage. Come on, I know you're gonna blow up. Alright, fine. I suppose if there's some that are actually mines, that's probably good for me, because it means it's free health restore it, restoration. Oh, well, that hit me. Okay, alright. They're very accurate. And they don't seem to get staggered, the ones that are being a sentry. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, where are you? Yeah, 
<laughs> Always nice being so close to an enemy that they can't actually hit you. Right, so let's get this. Nectar Blood Virgin. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're not really a threat. The ones that don't shoot lasers are not really a threat. There are so many explosions. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I could, uh... Yeah, I can. Okay. Just a weird-looking shine on the, the waterfall. Alright, so, Nectar Blood Virgin. So it's a uh, young shoot, heavy with velvety purple nectar, said to virgin forth from the neck where the nectar like blood of abandoned Trina pooled. Yeah, Trina is the discarded self of Mikola. But I don't think we've ever said that Trina's discarded though. Like It's always been Mikola's crosses. Mikola is abandoning his flesh. The Imperium Virgin. Um, St. Trina's never been referred to as an Imperium. And this is... A Grave Girl Pot. Okay. Not actually worth... Well, I suppose it's, it's okay. We haven't had that many spirit ashes to upgrade to make finding the glove warts and the grave warts worth it. But who knows, maybe there'll be one in this area. But yeah, Trina is discarded. Hey up. Oh, you being a helicopter? That's all you do? Okay. I was gonna try and do a guard counter, but then I was like, ah, it's probably not worth it. I will probably take more damage trying to kill it than uh being able to um take it down quickly. And yeah, it is very annoying that Leda made up her mind anyway, so Teolier was an option, but I've kind of gone through the default path, unfortunately. But maybe there's a way to stop it. Oh god. I thought there was floor there. Screw me, right? For thinking there's actually floor where uh, enemies are hanging out in. Hmm. Okay. Alright. So, just run past everything. Birds won't follow me that far. The sentry is going to be more of a problem. So, do, 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 do. Uh huh. Big jumps. Wah. Go, 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 go. Oh, they can actually. They can track me faster than I can run. need to keep running after I get rid of a sentry. The reason why I need to get rid of the sentry though is because otherwise it'll shoot me in the back. <laughs> yep, there's two. Go, 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 go! No! I'm getting caught up because I got stopped by the friggin' thing. Oh, if I didn't get stopped by it breaking the shield open, I would have been able to live that. Like, the runes is not an a issue, but... <sighs> I'm reminded of, um, Ringed City Archers. Oh, there's a side grace. How about that? What's this one? Hmm. 
<sighs> Fissure waypoint. Alright. No NPCs. And yep, yeah, darkness. So okay. So that's the path down. That is the way to go at some point, but not yet. Uh, yep, nothing there. Half expecting a sentry to try and blast me. Brave glove war, okay. Alright. Fair enough. Minor item found. Right next to a site of grace as well, so it's not too big a deal. If I die. Oh, hello! Skeleton. See ya. See ya. You didn't even come to attack me. Yeah, I have to do this. Ooh, the movement of the R2 is a bit further than I thought. Oh, you're throwing pots. Ooh. Okay. So maybe a holy weapon. Oh, hello. Uh, let's try this. Is this better? Oh, fro yeah, yeah, yeah frost stuff. Oh, he actually gets staggered by the frost wave. Nice. And because the projectile travels, it actually hits it multiple times. You gem. Congealed putrescence. And you can't jump over here because it's a come back here later kind of thing. Alright, does Moonblade work well on you guys? Sort of. Probably not worth the FP cost compared to just hitting you outright. But yeah, if I'm in a, a sticky situation, I can definitely rely on that. Hello. You're a misbegotten warrior. Okay, of course. See, the thing is that there was a misbegotten. Okay. <sighs> there was a misbegotten warrior that was holding a Golden Order Greatsword. And that's obviously a projection of a misbegotten warrior that can do the same thing. But Mikola was not part of the Golden Order. The Golden Order is Marika's deal. And gold masks. And probably more got as well. Okay, doesn't get staggered all the time. And these things were hard enough to deal with normally. Ooh, frost button. Oh, that's an explosion on himself. You can tell it's been a long time since I actually fought this kind of thing. But again, I have to assume that killing it will give something good because they don't put these kinds of enemies in your way unless it's like a significance of some kind because it's the same kind of projection that Godfrey had in the capital and then obviously you fought Godfrey for real yeah I'm gonna have to get all rid of all the skeletons every single time because this is not the greatest place to fight it so I think yeah. Uh-huh. 
Oh, you're blocking a gap. Get up, get up. This is harder than some bosses. I mean, it technically is a boss. It's just a normal enemy. But the aggression that they have, plus the stamina damage as well, that's the main killer, actually. Because normally, bosses of this kind of nature don't do that much stamina damage. Why? Tracking swing. Go. Jump. Alright. Are you serious? It just jumped off to its death. <sighs> multi layered ring of light. So that's the attack that killed me a couple of times. Fires a multi layered golden ring of light that continuously in inflicts damage. 36 faith required. An incantation of those who served Mikola. Uh, reduces the multi-layered ring of golden light, fires it forward, can inflict and continuous damage. Charge increases potency. This light ring incantation was cultivated by a tradition separate from Golden Order Fundamentalism. I see. So, yeah. Not quite of the same order then. Which makes sense if, um, obviously Mikkel wants to do his own thing. It wouldn't necessarily line up with what um, Marika wants to do. And there is, of course, a Sight of Grace there. I mean, they kind of had to put one after that misbegotten warrior. This is a bit disconcerting, though. Oh, it's just um, animals. Okay, fair enough. Summoning pool, though. Lost Grace discovered. Fissure depths. Alright. This lead up feels very bossish. Okay. Nothing's happening so far. Ah. Hello. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest, Saint Trina. Alright, so where did we come from? Because... That's where we started. Those are all the sentries. You go all the way down, go across here. Then you're working your way back over here. Uh, let's make sure I'm in the right place. Yeah. Switching weapons is safer than doing a circle press. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's nothing item related around here? No? All right. There is kind of stuff down here, so... Alright, well, uh, let's do... Let's switch this out for... Oh, Mother. Let's do Oh, Mother. I'm kind of doing it in the wrong direction, but... Whatever. Okay. Well, tested it out. Nothing changed. 40,000 runes is nothing. So let's go! Mm-hmm. A field of lilies. Hang on. 
You 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 reused Medea's boss arena for this. And we can summon. Hello. Putrescent Knights. Whoa! There's two things attacking. It's a horse! Okay. Oh, I was kind of expecting an attack there. That's an attack. Oh, he's just... He holds up the weapon, even though he's not actually swinging it. Oh, and that's uh, the edge of the boss arena. That's the door in the background. Uh -huh. I just don't have time to swing. range on that either. <laughs> swing! 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 Just make it even slower. And then mix it up with a fast one, because why not? Alright, but a thousand damage on that felt okay. It did take off a nice chunk of the health bar. I think summoning in... Well, summoning in would obviously help with the attention. I could just fire spells at them, but... I don't know if that would make it sort of too easy. Like, I only got the one hit with uh, Adula's Moonblade. Yeah! Yeah, there's definitely more stuff down here. Even the drop is the same as Medea's Arena. Can I get the runes, please? You know what? I think I might actually switch back out to um, two-handing my shield. Right. I might switch back out to the brass shield. Because the stamp... Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Don't get a chance. Just do not get a chance. Alright, so when he does a big swing in the air like that, he's not actually swinging. I definitely need more stamina after blocking, though. Feels a bit input ready. Alright. Do not have time. But we do this move. Quick, quick cast with Spectral Light. Okay. Quicker swings, quicker casts, rather than uh, trying Moonblade. I suppose Moonblade's only really useful if you can interrupt them. Because it's better for, like, medium-sized enemies, but that's definitely not a medium-sized enemy. On the plus side, doesn't seem like an enemy that I've fought before. Like, it doesn't seem like Ludwig in Bloodborne. Um, the two-handed Butcher's Blade moveset has never been on a boss, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, it's different. Woohoo! Like, the amount of damage it does isn't outrageous. It's just, you don't, you, you can't block. Or at least I can't block. Obviously, other builds with more stamina, more equip load, more heavy armor would be able to do it. Probably no problem. Uh, but yes, uh, let's switch off. So the thing with this, it has 49 guard boost. This has 69 guard boost. 
So if we're taking that to mean that when you block a hit, you lose 50% of the stamina needed to do that, making that 69% of the stamina instead, like almost 20% less, is a huge difference. So that's why the brass shield's back on. And we are in. We shall summon, because we've seen this a few times. I don't need to deal with it. Spectre light goes. And there we go. Interesting that the horse doesn't necessarily go for the person that they're attacking. So the maroons are over there. Just give a bit of room. So what's that supposed to be? The ghost fire, right? Yeah. Oh, it comes in. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. All right. Back it up. Still tracking? Yeah. Oh, can you only have one set of springs of spectral light out of one? Like that. Forward. Whoop. All right, the T-shirt's down. I knew as soon as I was like in the, I need to jump and avoid this. I was like, oh, no, no. Wh huh? It died anyway? Legend felled remembrance of putrescence? Like I wasn't even looking at the screen. We got it. <laughs> oh, does that mean I lose all the runes though? Remembrance of the putrescent night hewn into the skater tree. All tainted flesh eventually becomes putrescence, and this clump of it imbibed St. Trina's nectar, which granted it eternal rest. And so it was that putrescence became her night. <sighs> I didn't see how many runes it dropped. I didn't even see what it killed it. Was it the fact that I did a ring of spectral light cast and it just managed to, like... Home in onto it as it killed me. 